Hello folks and welcome back to the 2022 CCR Open fueled by Great Lakes Dis. This is FPO coverage, round one, back nine. We'd also like to thank Discraft for their sponsorship. We're here in Holt, Michigan at Birchfield Park. My name is Nick Hansen. Alongside me, I have Jessica Olski. Jessica, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. So far, we've seen um, some great play out of our FPO field. Um, Christina currently in the lead at 300 par, Chantel at one under, Ashley at even, and Lindsay at four over. Going to the back nine, here's our current leaderboard. And what are you looking for on this back nine? Steady and consistent. I think if they do that, they're gonna to continue to push up the leaderboard. And let's get right into it here at hole 10. Hole 10, we have typical route is usually a straight to hyzer. Sometimes I like to go on the inside route of these trees. Other times I like to go on the round on the outside. We do have OB surrounding the right side of the, of the entire way, actually. All right. And we have Ashley up here first, looking to be lining up the backhand hyzer. This is one that, you know, we really like to try to get that birdie. Par three, a little under 300 feet. Oh, and unfortunately, she's going to catch those guardian trees there on the right of the green, and she's going to get knocked down into circle two. Christine Jennings up here, going with the same route. She's going to actually be deep of those trees, inside circle one, it looks like. Yes, that's a good position. Lindsay up here next. Looks to be lining up more of a straight shot. She's going to catch those guardians as well there. Guardians are you, they when are. You th are you, when you throw, are you trying to get in front of those trees, or where are you trying to throw your shot, Jessica? For me personally, exactly what you're stating, because of the guardian trees, I actually try to go around the outside. I would prefer to be on the backside, have a putt at it, then get caught up in those. Chantal seemed to have actually got through pretty well, thought through. And there's Ashley's run for birdie. She'll be able to tap in for par from there. Chantel from circle two. Oh. Great, Ped. Good run to start her back nine. Another good Lin bid from Lindsay from circle yeah, two. Lindsay also catching the cage from circle two. Christine here from inside the circle. Oh, and just a little short. It looks like she almost didn't really commit to her routine like you talked about. Yeah, it looked like a little line. rushed from her. Lindsay in for her par. And like you were saying, this is really one of the holes on the back nine that you ladies want to get. Um, it really starts the back nine out good for you if you can get this birdie, but as you can see, um, it's still a little tricky here. We saw three of our competitors get knocked down early, and one competitor just unfortunately missed her putt inside the circle. Hole 11 is another tricky one, lined with OB on the left and right side. It is a par four, 733 feet of just pure placement shots. Um, right about where we're at now, you'll want your second one, so you'll have a approach to this another green that's on a mound. We have Ashley up here first, going with the turnover. Looks like it's going to fade out right at the right time. She's going to be in a good spot from there. Christine up next. Would you say this place is the most difficult hole in the course? I would absolutely agree with that statement. She yes. seems to be Seven. in those tall grass, right? Just not OB yet. OB seems correct. to be like on the other side. Yep, I think you are correct there. And yes, this whole, especially with how the tee pad is and that tree to the right, I think it plays a little mind games as well. The mind games that course designers play with us disc golfers. Chantel came on top just a little bit more than she wanted. Um, looks like she would 
I don't think she made it to the OB though. Lindsay unfortunately caught up there, but she's gonna fall safe. And if you get on this right side, you can see it's very difficult to get, you know, back really into the main fairway. Christine playing that hill on that side quite well for another placement shot. This one I still feel it's a tough par for. It's really tough. <laughs> Great hyzer from Ashley. Yeah, I feel like Ashley just threw two very, very good shots, and she's still going to be, what, 150 to 200 feet away from the basket? Well-executed shots on here, even for par, still feel like a birdie. Yeah, I would say this one is another one that maybe plays closer to a par 5 than a par 4. Chantal opting for the forehand. Great distance. Look at that commitment from her. It just got tied up a little bit at that tree. I would say it's hard to tell on film, but this hole actually plays significantly downhill and then it plays back uphill, just adding another element to the hole and really making it that much more difficult. Wow. Great upset shot there by Lindsay. We have Ashley with her approach. Also going to get it inside the circle and likely inside the bullseye. A little bit wider than Christine would have liked, but she still has a great putt for par. Or that be for Bogue? I think it'll be for bogey. Chantel here. Oh, her, just off her the cage. long bids have been hitting metal every time. They're they're very close. If they were going in, she'd be having a stellar round. Lindsay's gonna tap in for her bogey there. You're correct for bogey for Christine. You could tell that she's not too pleased with that. I feel though that a five here is really not bad. Honestly, mm. it, it does play it it does play like a par five. Chantel Likely in. you're not losing many strokes of the field on taking a five on this one. Maybe one at the most. On to hole twelve, which is a par three, OB lining the right hand side. Um, it's basically for backhand players straight and hyzer end to this gorgeous green. This is another birdie that we like to get. And Ashley up here first. Did I see she was the lone par on the last hole? You are correct. Got caught up in those. Those are more guardian trees. Yeah, the guardian trees here at this course are placed very well to access the greens, I would say. Um, even though you have tons of open airspace, um, by the time you get to the green, you're really needing you know, a great placement shot like we've talked about over and over again to get inside the circle for a birdie. Lindsay holding on to that a little bit more than she would like. We'll come back in bounds though for her. Agreed. Chantel up here. And what a shot. Skipping up the green and she's going to have a shot at birdie inside the bullseye it looks like. Another one with the angle control well executed. I think the OBs and the guardian trees in this course really make it where you, you have to execute your golf. Lindsay and 
Ashley both executing their upshot. We'll have a drop in for par. Christine capitalizing on that putt for her birdie. Yeah, she's bouncing back after that last bogey, and that's a good putt to make uphill, outside the circle. She continues her, her day. You know, she's three under par so far, and I'm sure she's pretty happy with that. Chantel, Chantel here getting a birdie as well with the CTP. Absolutely. And this putt is a little harder than it looks like here. It is a little bit more elevated than it seems um, with a lot of potential for rollaways. Ladies tapping in theirs. And we're going to go on to hole 13, which is another tricky one. 414 foot par four. You can see this OB circle right here. And there's OB as well on the other side. It is another placement shot into a green right here with this OB bunker onto the left. Yeah, they got OB all over out here for us. It's tough to navigate it, um, but these ladies have been doing a pretty darn good job so far today. I've Christine been enjoying rips it. rips one out there. That was, like, that's, yes. She looks like she's going to buy that mouth, am I right? Yes. If you could have to picture a place that you would want to be, that would be it. When so well executed on these, Nick, I definitely think this is another one that the ladies like their birdies on. Yeah, because to me it looked like Chantel just got through the gap there, and she's going to have a pretty short upshot. Wow, another great drive from Ashley. Lindsay here, heisering out a little early. And she's gonna get a little pinched off over there. Yeah, it looks like she's almost basically throwing a layup slash putt to get, just get to that gap. Very smart play for that placement. Ashley with the semi bid upshot and right inside circle. That's definitely how you want the disc to finish with that little bunker OB back and left. Very smart play by her. Christine was able to get hers to settle right by the basket. Chantel was playing a little bit of that lower just most likely from that OB on that left side too. Yeah, these these upshots can be a little nervy with, you know, that OB right where your disc naturally fades to. But she's still in a good spot to get her birdie here from inside the circle. Very nice birdie. Ash Ashley got to cap capitalize on her birdie as well. Lindsay here, she's gonna tap in for her par. Very well played hole after having kind of an errant tee shot. Christine taps in with the bag on for her birdie. And on to hole 14, which is a par three. Um, you can either go the backhand or a forehand. Basically, you just want to try to get up to this mound here and just stay away from those trees on the right-hand side. Christine electing for the backhand. She's going to go on that right side. And oh my goodness. Impeccable. That's a great tee shot. I think this is one of the few holes that there is, if not limited, if not any OB that comes into play. Chantel's going to catch those trees, but she did catch kick forward, um, likely inside circle two, still with an opportunity for birdie. No. 
Ashley going with a flex sidearm there. She's going to catch those trees and drop down a little early. Lindsay skips all the way deep outside the circle. So she'll have an outside the circle two putt uphill. The basket placements at this course definitely make it strategic regarding putts to run that you usually would or ones to lay up. Yeah, and it looks like Chantel did just that. She chose to ru lay that one up instead of running it. Which is rare, right? Because 246 foot hole, usually I, I think that an FPO, it would be a little bit um, more of running that. But like with that placement, it definitely adds that a little bit more of a strategic approach. Christine here with a great birdie to get a turkey there. She's had phenomenal drives today. I agree. I love to see this type of golf. Very good golf. Some tap-ins. Moving on to hole 15, another par three, 265 feet. This is another straight or if not hyzer. There are OB bunkers as well as OB to the right. Christine up first here. She's gonna go with a big hyzer. This is the play that I choose oh. as well. Let's go. What a shot. She is she's on fire right now. Inside bullseye. That was that was fantastic angle. Again, she got it to settle without rolling towards OB. Chantel also going with the hyzer around everything and she's gonna wind up right inside circle one. Actually up next. Another great hyzer. These ladies are putting on another clinic. They really are here on this hole. Three hyzers, three inside the circle. Christine's look like it hit the pole. Another hyzer and got look like I got caught up a little short. Yeah, this one's a tough one to run when you're this short, as you see that bunker right behind it, probably about circle's edge, OB. And to make it even trickier, they did OB deep, too. Great birdie yeah, putt really from Chantel. they this course with OB. Yes. Ashley will tap in her birdie. Lindsay will go ahead and tap her par in. And Christine with another CTP here. She's on fire. She's heard a six under par for the day. Moving on to hole 16, which is a tough shot. It is very strategic to place straight shot up through the trees into a little bit of a um, kind of gradually uphill. And I do not believe there's any OB on this. Just a tight gap to get through. Christine up here first. And, oh, <laughs> she hits the initial gap, but she turned a little too much there. She's going to catch about middle fairway and kick right. Chantel also catching the right side of the fairway, but she's going to kick back into the middle. I feel like 
feel like these trees are eating, eating this one up. Yeah, it is that straight shot you're talking about, and I think really all four competitors kind of just pulled it right a little bit. For being about 290, 290 foot feet, it is a tougher par three on this back nine. And Christine Jennings, just another phenomenal upshot to get inside the circle for a chance at par. I should say fair par three, just tough to get your birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful upshot from Chantel. Yeah, sidearm approach. I don't think we've seen that many times out of her today. I had a beautiful anti-flight flight from Lindsay. Great par from Christine. Ashley here for her par. Not a lot of stroke separation happening on this hole, as you see, you know, most of them kind of got caught up halfway down the fairway, and then they all made great upshots to get inside the circle for par. Like you said, it's a fair par three, but it's hard to get your birdie. I agree. If they didn't have those great approaches, it would have been a different story. On to hole 17, the island hole. You do have, you can see here, the beautiful island. It is a raised basket. You are back, so it is a either, you know, putter, ante shot, or a forehand approach. And if you miss the green, it is considered hazard. Yes. Par three, 180 feet, although it seems a lot farther. And Christine just on a tear right now. She's inside the circle for birdie. I can't stop smiling. This is great golf. Oh, Chantel. Chantel could catch that outside wall and stay inside the island. Oh, Ashley. Ashley here, <laughs> catching the back side of the green. She'll also be inside looking at her birdie. Lindsay opting for the backhand. Oh, she knew she didn't like it. Yeah, I hate that feeling when you know it out of your hand. Ooh, that putt. I thought that putt looked great. Seemed she like gave a it a good side. bid to save par from there. Great putt for birdie from Ashley. As a reminder, Hazard, you play where your disc lies with a one-stroke penalty. Christine, she's really getting comfortable with these eight-footers for birdie on this back nine. Strategic placement on the front nine, birdie, birdie, birdie on the back nine. Would you say the back plays a little easier than the front? Yes. Front, you have those two back-to-back -back holes that play pretty hard, and then the back has that one hole, hole 11, that's significantly hard as well. Although sometimes the minute that you think that it plays easier is the minute that it shows its teeth more. You're not wrong. On to the infamous hole 18. The usual play is to go straight down the middle here. There are some treacherous woods on both sides. There's OB to the far, far left and to the deep. Um, placement to get up here so you can either have an approach or sometimes even a look at birdie. It is a par three, almost 400 feet. Christine up here first, going with that easy hyzer for her. Give herself right out in the open. Chantel going on the outside route, but it looks like it still snuck through. And again, great distance. Good. 
Actually, it's with a little tight on the left side there, but she's going to get all the way out into the opening. Really, if you hit the initial gap about a quarter of the fair down the fairway, and you just get onto the open, you have a really good look at getting your par. I agree. Hitting the gap is definitely key on here. Chantel with her approach. This green is so beautiful, wouldn't you say? I would say it's the best one on the course. Mm -hmm. Little waterfall behind it. Plays as casual. Christine Little half bid. there to get her birdie, or her, I mean her par. Whew. Another bid from Ashley. Yeah, that looked like a full run. It, yes. I thought she had it. Oh. <laughs> Lindsay's pots have been looking just right there. Great putt from Chantal to finish her round out. Some uneasy, un uneasy footing, don't you think? Yeah, it looked like she was having troubles marking her disc. <laughs> Decides just to not mark it. Getting through a routine here. Tap in for her last part of the round. Beautiful putt. Seven down is a very good score at this course. I couldn't agree more with you. That is definitely in, uh, impeccable. As Lindsay taps in there for bogey. And now she's going to tap in for a par. All right, folks, there's round one of the CCR. Christine Jennings at 700 par. <clears throat> Ashley at 300 par. Chantel at ran apart as well and here's our leaderboard look at yourself up there fifth place it was a good a, good start to the round yeah we've got a lot of action coming up here over the next two rounds we hope to see you there jessica thanks for being here today with me thank as you always, for having me as always like share and subscribe we'll see you on the next one